everything, the way we make our, our living is by tragedy. If you can see the patterns that every time there's a big catastrophe, guess what? There's a bunch of guys out there that are going to become millionaires by saving us. And that is the insanity right now. If you look at some of these news reports, a lot of these guys that have really good ideas are sitting on their fucking ass because they're waiting for a contract. These guys want to get million, be a millionaire from cleaning up that mess. And as long as we're tied to money to save ourselves, it's the money that's going to stop you. It's that contract that's going to stop you from going out and cleaning your friggin' planet. If you have a good idea, get off your friggin' ass and do something. Like I said, the problem is very complex. I wouldn't just jump out and get out and do something. You have to understand the full problem. That gas is dangerous. We need safety people. We need safety equipment. We need money. There's a way of raising money. One of them is, um, well, before I get on to how we need to find the money, we need to figure out a way of stopping that oil. And as you can see, nobody knows what the hell they're doing. This has happened 30 years ago, and it's going to flow for nine months at least. They need to drill another well to, to stop what's going on there. I don't see anybody even starting to build anything yet. They're going to try a whole pile of things. There is even talk of nuclear bombing the shit out of it. And there's no way you're going to have any fish for thousands of years if you do that. So one problem, you know, the solution to, you know, one thing is going to cause even a bigger problem. There is one way that we can put minds together to be able to find the solution to this problem. I've been talking on my channel about this guy named um, Vernon Wolf, Hollow Dynamics. This guy has come up with a tool he claims can solve every problem known to the human experience. I've studied the science. It makes perfect sense. I, reading this guy's material, I know this guy would go out there and help out without any pay. But I'm pretty sure he's going to need some backup. So my suggestion is email this guy. Give him some paper that he can go down there with and say, hey, the public wants me to be involved in this. We need to figure out how to solve it. He's got the best problem-solving tool on this planet. At least he can get together with all of these engineers and find a better way of doing it. I also am aware of um, some technology that's out there it's using holographics again it's it's like a software program where you input all of the data every aspect of this problem and then you get a holographic image of it and when you put all of the information in there then you can see where the information is lacking and it, it spits out the solution so I can't find a link to this company but I know they're out there so then the money. Everything that's going to take to clean this mess up is going to have a financial cost. I'm suggesting that anybody that has more than 20 million dollars start handing over your money. If you understand how you earned your money, trust you earned your money by taking advantage of somebody else. You use some form of marketing, you use some kind of branding, branding's nothing more than brainwashing, and you used people's minds by influencing them to buy stuff they didn't need. I would start off with some of these motivational speakers. Deepak Chopra for one. He says he likes living a, a, a simple life. Well, in his insanity, he's got billions of dollars sitting in a bank account that's just rotting away and, and he's saying, I don't feel guilty about earning all of this money. Well, you know what? It's time to step up and put all of your money into this. The next guy that I would go and see is Tony Robbins. If you go and look at any of his videos that are on the internet, he's been motivating brainwashing. If you understand what brainwashing tools are, I've been to one of his seminars. 
For three days, he talks and talks, gets you right involved, gets the music, the blood pumping. He, he's a master at talking, but he does it in a way that you don't eat for three days and you don't, you have very little sleep. So, and then at the end of the seminar, while everybody's all pumped up, this guy literally uses the words, if you want this feeling to last, you got to buy the next course and it's $10,000. And then you see everybody's brainwashing using their credit cards to pay for a $10,000 course. And then you see him on these forms saying, I couldn't afford that. Now my family's really pissed off at me, yada, yada, yada. So this guy has made a fortune off of brainwashing people. And on top of that, he's also saying, you got to have a mentor. Look at some of his mentors. Go on some of his, his internet and see the people that he's recommending. Some of these guys that he's saying we need to, to um, uh, use them as an example, they're people that encouraged war. They profited off of war and then dominated a, an economic system from another country. And this is Tony Robbins telling you this is what you got to be. So when we're all fucked up, and we don't know what we're doing, guess what? You've been brainwashed by some of these motivational speakers. And Tony Robbins has a hell of a lot of money by manipulating society. So it's time for him to fork up some money. Then Wayne Dyer. Love, love, love Wayne Dyer. He's got uh, cancer, doesn't really understand how to cure it, but the cure is not all that hard. But the guy is talking about living a simple life. Well, the guy has also made a ton of money telling people how to live right and he he's constantly saying live the simple life so guess what if you're if if you mean what you say then say what you mean and start handing over all the money in your bank account it's time to fork up and save humanity and guess what that mentality will cure your cancer <laughs> you just don't know it yet you're contradicting yourself you're saying you're living the simple life and you're teaching everybody to live the simple life while well, you've got all of this friggin wealth well, if you have all of the smarts, then get rid of every dime you own and then show me how you can make your money back again. If you can do it starting from the bottom, show us all how it's done. So start handing over your money. So we need to start uh, doing that and start putting pressure on all of these people that have more than Oprah Winfrey. There's another one. You've made so much damn money. You'll never spend it in your life unless you're going to buy food and, and then you're going to say you have an eating problem. You know what? If you got rid of all that money, you probably wouldn't be able to buy the best food and eat all the time. Sorry, Oprah, but you got a hell of a lot of money and it's time to start saving humanity. And, you know, all of these people all have friends and they all need to get together and they all need to start handing over their money and start paying to clean this mess up. And then we... Part of the uh, what we need to start funding is safety people. We need a hell of a lot of people to start taking some safety courses so that while we clean up, we're not getting killed by all of this gas that's going around. We probably need a lot of uh, um, equipment to clean up that air as well. Um, so that needs some funding. There's another way of making some money too. On my channel, you can click on that link. If you have no money to donate and you don't want to send out any emails and you don't want to put any pressure, you sitting at home have a responsibility that you can participate in. And it's click those friggin' ads. Test yourself. Click an ad and don't go into the bullshit of programming and buy the product. Just click the ad and test your own mind and say, I'm going to push that button without buying that product. Every time you push that button, I get a commission off of it, and I won't spend one dime of it. I will hand it over to this relief fund. Um, anybody that wants donations, not that I want to be the one taking it. Um, <laughs> I really don't want to be the one in charge of any of this. I just want to put the idea out there. But we need to have some form of collecting this money, and we need to be able to know who's, who's collecting it, and not going to get a fortune off of it. It needs to go into strictly equipment to save this thing. Then we're we're dealing with the um, the problem of cars. As long as you're driving a car, you're you're perpetuating the problem. You need to let go of this gas problem. So a lot of really good technology is out there to drive solar cars. I've seen the technology for solar paint. You can drive a car and pay no money to run it 
Just the sun in the air can drive your car and it's cheap. So we need to start setting up some manual.